loved fashion as a kid even when I was growing up uh, I used to spend my afternoons you know playing with clothes because my dad used to manufacture for some big fashion houses so my love for fashion developed very early on in my life even travel actually I used to travel with my family and make some beautiful memories so traveling the world has always been on my bucket list uh, my love for beauty actually grew when I started blogging because as a blogger during your shoots every day you have to do some skin prep and makeup so uh, my love for beauty actually grew after I started blogging what inspired me to be a blogger actually has a very <laughs> interesting story behind it I do not come from a fashion background I'm a master's in economics and midway through my master's I realized that economics was not my passion I spent a lot of years studying it but I just couldn't go through it anymore um, I've always loved fashion as a kid and I wanted to be a fashion entrepreneur so that's when I realized I wanted to be a blogger Well, that was a huge achievement actually. It involved multiple rounds of fashion styling and influencers from all over the country participated. Uh, I was chosen to represent India globally for Swarovski. We were taken to Paris. I shot all over the city um, for a two-page Grazia India magazine spread and I was also featured in Swarovski's in-house magazine. So uh, it definitely was one of my greatest achievements. Well, I think the most overrated part about being um, in social media is the social events and parties. They're actually not as cool as they look. Well, as a public figure, you know, you're prepared to receive negative criticism also. As long as it's healthy, um, I think we acknowledge it because we understand not everybody will love you. But there are definitely people who just like to throw unnecessary hate and negativity and as much as everyone likes to deny it, um, you do feel bad about it uh, just because you're a blogger or social media influencer, or public figure or whatever does not mean that it does not hurt you. So it does. Uh, but there are ways to deal with it, you know. I deal with hate by just deleting the hate comments like they never existed, just like the hater never existed because it's very easy to sit behind a screen and criticize someone because you know they can't do anything, you know. You would never do that to them face to face. So I just delete the comments. And um, I know a lot of bloggers like me who also sometimes like to take social media detox days where we basically do not just check our Instagram for a day or two. We spend time with our family. We just rejuvenate, you know, so that we can be creative and we can come back on the platform happier. I strongly recommend to just believe in yourself. I always say this. Nobody can do you and that is your superpower. So be creative, be unique and most importantly, be consistent. Well, I'm Nikki Mayer and I'm signing off. Thank you so much for having me here. You can check out my Instagram for my work. My handle is at the rate Nikki Mayer. Taza updates for big news. Subscribe to Aaj Prakash TV and press the bell icon.